I wonder if you might recognise this place. Uh, that's right, it's St Leonard's, uh, a Christian church just down the road from your school. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about one part of Christian churches. That's the windows, stained glass windows, and they're a little bit like storybooks. So, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour. Churches have been full of stained glass for hundreds of years. They're kind of like picture books and originally they told us about the stories of Jesus and the saints. Those are important people in the Christian story. But if you look at the words at the bottom of this particular window, you'll see that a lot of more modern windows tell us a story about people that were wealthy and powerful in communities and they tended to be the people that paid for the windows. This is a window of St Alban, a very old saint. He was a Roman soldier and in this window uh, you can see in the background a picture of another church, St Alban's Abbey. And at the bottom we see St Alban's Abbey again. Then there's a, a picture, I think, there of Boudicca from the history of Colchester. And then a picture of the house of the person who uh, paid for the window. Can you see the monk there? Uh, that is one of the ways that uh, people who created windows signed their names. This is a window with three saints. St Leonard, after whom the church is named. St Helena on the left, she's the patron saint of Colchester. And St Ozith, she's an Essex saint. You might have been to St Ozith's yourself. At the bottom of the window, there's the Colchester coat of arms. There's a picture of St Leonard's, a... a, a, a prisoner being released this is what St Leonard did and then the coat of arms for St Osith and another signature there can you see the spider's web now sometimes when you're creating stained glass windows you use colored glass sometimes you paint on the glass and in a lot of these windows we have colored glass that has then been painted on in the middle there's St Michael who is a, a, an angel, St Cecilia, who's a saint to do with music. And here is a picture of one of my predecessors, a vicar for St Leonard's, called Mr Dolph, who sadly died when he was struck by lightning in the 50s. And this is the most modern bit of the window, uh, which went in in the 90s to remember someone who had been in the choir and then died. Here's a picture of uh, St George. You might notice that uh, when people put in these stained glass windows, they tended to make everybody look like they themselves looked. But of course, uh, St George uh, didn't look like that. He was probably a Roman soldier uh, from the Middle East. The bottom there, you can see that the window is given in memory of somebody's son who died in the Second World War. Here's an older window which tells a Bible story about Jesus as an infant, a child being taken to the temple and being taken up in the arms of someone called Simeon. Mary and Joseph are on the left and then on the right is somebody called Anna who'd been waiting in the temple for decades, waiting to meet Jesus. Here's another amazing coat of arms uh, to show that it was a powerful and wealthy family that paid for that window. But the biggest window in St Leonard's is the East window and that tells us uh, much of Jesus's story. It's huge and really impressive. In the middle at the bottom there is the baby Jesus with his uh, mother uh, Mary and either side we have different stories about Jesus. There he is in the Garden of Gethsemane. 
and on the right uh, there he is carrying his uh, cross on Good Friday and up above uh, in the center of the window is Jesus on the cross and right at the top we have what's called the host of heaven there are lots of angels and if you look carefully the sun and the moon are up there in our little chapel uh, we've got some more modern windows and these are paid for by the Papillon family who used to own much of Lexton uh, in French uh, they call uh, butterflies papillon and so the Papillon family has butterflies as its symbol you might be able to see another butterfly in this picture on the right and a big picture of their manor house here's another of those windows which makes all the saints look a little bit like um, some of the people who put the windows in looked like there's a signature the little monk in the bottom right hand corner and again uh, this window was given in memory of somebody who died at D-Day in the Second World War can you see the butterflies that are there this is a slightly earlier window again uh, about uh, given in memory of somebody who died while fighting in a war so I hope that was a good a trip around the windows in St Leonard's when things are back to normal we'd love to have you here so that you can see them in the flesh.